Hi, I'm Brad Swenson with Eco Green Equipment, and today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, some of the fire hazards, uh, some of the big ones. Uh, to start off, I want to talk about tire fires. Um, one of the main reasons um, we are such big advocates of shredding tires and, and recycling them is because of tire fires. Uh, they are hands down the biggest uh, polluter when, when a fire, tire fire happens. Um, everybody's seen the videos, they always go viral huge plumes of black smoke uh, going up. But what, what a lot of people don't know is really how hard it is to put out a tire fire. Because of the shape of a tire, the fire can get burning inside. And if you've ever taken and tried to get water out of a tire, uh, it's a similar concept where you can never quite get all of the water out of the tire because it's, it's um, inside of there and it's just working its way around. Same thing happens in a big tire pile. The tire, will, the fires will get down where there's lots of oxygen inside of that tire and they just burn and you can spray all the water on it you want, but because of the rubber it's sheltered, it keeps burning from the inside out and they can be nasty. There, there are tire fires that have been burning for years and years and the only way to put them out is if you can smother them or if you can take and you know eliminate all the oxygen, which if it's a small tire fire, that's doable. But when you get these big tire fires that have millions and millions of tires in them, it is nearly impossible and it's just an absolute disaster. Another uh, major topic of concern when it comes to hazard of tires is, is dumping of tires in the oceans. Um, everybody's seen the pictures going viral of these beautiful reefs, people scuba diving, and then there's a tire sitting on the on the ocean floor or someone bailed up tires and there's hundreds and hundreds of tire bales sitting on the ocean floor. Um, they are not environmentally friendly to the fish. They do not uh, create good living grounds uh, for the animals. It's just an absolute disaster environmentally when they get thrown in the ocean. So we want to make sure we're keeping our corals pristine um, and our oceans healthy. Um, the other one that I have a real personal experience with that is a big deal is, is a health standpoint. Um, tire piles create large breeding grounds uh, for mosquitoes. And you know, in this business, I've been traveled around, I've been to some of the biggest tire piles in the world. And um, I actually went to one and I got bit by a mosquito and I had dengue. And it was absolutely miserable. I remember laying in bed and touching my finger like that and it, and it just hurt. It ran all the way up my nerves. It was the most miserable feeling um, for about a week uh, straight. And I was lucky that it wasn't worse. Some people get it a lot worse, but it was about a week straight of that just miserable feeling. Um, other big issues that come out of it are, you know, the Zika virus, which we had a big outbreak of the Zika, uh, Zika um, disease from mosquitoes. Uh, years ago where it affected international travel and, and huge effects on uh, newborn kids. Uh, malaria, which we're all very familiar with, is a huge, huge health disaster. So being proactive, making sure tires are getting recycled is a big, big solution for that. Um, the other interesting thing about tires is from a waste standpoint, they are very hard to get rid of in a landfill. And there's a reason that landfills no longer accept tires. Uh, most of us remember when we were little kids driving around and you look out into a field and you'd see a bunch of tires that are sticking half up from the ground. And you go, how, why did someone go bury that tire like that? Or how did it get like that? Does it sink? What does it do? Well, I want to clarify what happens. Tires, uh, from the simplest standpoint to understand it, basically float uh, in the earth. So you can go bury them 10 feet under and over time uh, they will work their way up to the surface. And then you have this nice clean area that was all cleaned up, buried, and all of a sudden tires are popping up through this field. So burying them is not a good solution. Then you get back into the risk of all the other things of tire piles. Uh, it's just delaying the time frame of that. So those are some of the four main things that uh, tire hazards cause us today. So go recycle tires and let's not have that problem in the future.